Yo, yo, what's up with it? Good Men TV. Back again. Tony yeah. Stacks in the building. Yeah, yeah. So what's Stacks. up, man? How, how you been doing? Oh, man, chilling, man. Tony Stacks in the building. Big ball, ball, wild, whatever you want to call me. Uh huh. Jeff City right. Town, baby. Chilling with my boy A Rock, Good Band TV. Uh huh. It's all good. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. I was on Facebook. I just seen y'all parole. You want to talk about that a little bit? Oh, yeah. Thank God. First of all, thank God I'm off parole, by the way. Yeah, man, I was in the white folks since the 10 years, man. Five on papers, five in the joint. I'm off now by the grace of God. Ain't got to report to nobody. Ain't got to call nobody. Ain't got to piss test. Ain't got to do nothing but go to the mailbox, you yeah? That's all I got to do. Okay, so what's your plans now that you're off the road? Are you plan on taking trips or going out of town? I mean, what's your plans now that you're off the road? I plan on doing everything I could do while I'm on parole, travel without having to get permission, number one. Going where I want to go, ain't got to report to nobody. I can get passports, I can just hop in the car and go. I can just hop on a plane and go. Or I can just hop on a boat and sail, you hear me? Okay, so like, what is the first place you want to go, Nashville, bro? Hmm, good question. Oh, that I don't know, but I was planning to either go to like Atlanta or Chicago, you know what I'm saying, just because I got people with their family in them places. Right. Not the cities itself, but just as I got people with their family in there and they've been wanting me to come so bad, so one of those two destinations is what I plan on doing. Lord, stay the same. When you was on parole, what was the things you couldn't do on being probation? Like, what you couldn't do? Like, could you smoke? Could you drink? Could you, you know? Well, I don't do any of that. No, I don't smoke and do drugs anyway. I drink a little bit, but technically, technically, you're only supposed to drink, but I was doing a little drinking. I'm off the road now, so I can't get in trouble for it. But yeah, I was doing a little sipping. You know what I'm saying? You got to travel. If you travel, you got to get permission. If you leave St. Louis City and County, like, I couldn't even go to the east side. Out of St. Louis, you got to get permission. Like. I go to the city or the county, anything outside of that, I had to get permission. Mm. And I ain't got to do that no more, so I'm good to go. Yeah, so. Okay, so, like, how life been treating you so far? Like, how, how, you, how you feeling? How you, you know what I'm saying? How you doing? Oh, life been treating me good. You feel me? Life been treating me good. I'm sucker free. <laughs> had, to, had to let some people go. Male and female, the good, the bad, some of the ugly. Old girls, family members, a little bit of everybody who ain't right for Tony Love, I, I'd let them go. But life been treating me good, though. I can't complain. I understand. Because I don't want to get no spe too specifics of what I got going on, but life been treating me good in general. Also, all, all the people that's here supposed to be here. All the people that's gone, they supposed to be gone. Okay, so I heard a song a while back that you you did with Dre. So when you plan on when you plan on dropping that song, or it's gonna be an album, or it's just gonna be a single from the drop? I'm gonna be honest with you, yeah, we definitely gonna drop. We've been BSing that procrastinate. I don't wanna say the name of it, nothing like that, because people gonna try to take it and run with it because it's exclusive. But we so but we gonna get it mixed and mastered here shortly. We are gonna shoot the video for the song, and it's gonna be a movie, baby. Tony Stacks and play out with Dre. You know okay, I mean? you had an album say out less. already. You had an album already. Are you gonna release that that mixtape you had before, or are you not gonna release that music? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. I might do all new stuff. Might go back and put some of the old out. I already made my mind up on yet. It just depends on how I'm feeling. So it might be all new, might be old and new, or whatever the case may be. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but shit. You boy and wolf. I answered a letter or a phone call. Hey, hey, this was gonna be I gave the number. Yeah. Not a number. Okay. Right. So, how do you feel about a man having a female best friend? Do it be sex or could it really be friendship? Really just care for each other as friends? Yeah, Can y'all explain that to me? Yeah. Friendship. Yeah, I explain it for sure. I mean, that's what friends are. Whether it's a male friend or a female friend. Right. That's just like saying if a person have a male friend, 
is it about sex? Hell no, it ain't about sex. It was about a female friend. Nah, it ain't about sex. It's about friendship. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm be honest with you. What I noticed just over the last few years, as as I've been older, sometimes female friends be the most lawless friends. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, because sometimes guys, like, ain't no wrong with having male best friends. I got a lot of niggas, a lot of partners. My nigga Dre, my nigga Hood Rich, a few more. So I got a lot of partners that's partners and clubs. But sometimes it be like females be a little more loyal to dudes, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna give you a perfect example. And, and I ain't nowhere comparing myself or nothing like that. But just look at Jesus Christ and his 12 disciples. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus had 12 disciples, right? 12 men who, you know what I'm saying? Who spread the word, who was his guys, who everything. He also had Mary Magdalene by his side. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't no disciple. But when shit hit the fan, and when all them 12 disciples scattered, because all of them got ghosts. One of them sold them out, a couple of them denied them. All of them got ghosts. When the rubber hit the road, Mary Magdalene was right there. And that she, doesn't mean that he's calling me a Mary Magdalene. Uh, for no, some no, of y'all people no. that, you know, it's always two sides. So I'm on the other side. Right. That doesn't mean that. I know y'all, but at the same time, moral of the story is your best friend could be a female yeah. or a male. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be sexual. So I'm just saying that. And, and then to be honest, because I believe in the Bible wholeheartedly. I believe in God and Jesus Christ as his only son. And what a lot of people don't realize is that Mary Magdalene, was closer to Jesus than any of the 12 disciples. Now don't get me wrong, the 12 disciples, they spread their word. I mean, they spread the word and they was Jesus' disciples. But who was closer to him was Mary Magdalene. You know what I'm saying? And just like in the Bible, once Jesus was killed, put in the tomb, the first person he revealed himself to, it wasn't his mama, it wasn't none of the disciples, it wasn't Peter, it wasn't none of them. The first person he revealed himself to was Mary Magdalene. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, female and a male can be best friends. You look at that one right here. That's my best friend the whole wide world right here. So you look at that. <laughs> I feel like personally, whenever somebody sees a male and a female, they think sex. They think they're doing something they've talked before, they've been together, they're gonna to be together, whatever the case may be. But everybody's looking for that loyal friend, whether it's in a female, whether it's in a male, two males, two females. Everybody wants that main female to be real with her, to be loyal with her, to have her back. Everybody wants that main nigga to have his back, to be loyal with him, to ride with him. So whether you find that in a, if it's a male and a female, a female and a female, a male and a male, you got that one person that you feel comfortable with, you're loyal with, both y'all know each other's loyalty, both y'all know y'all got each other's back, whatever, whoever you find that within, I mean, it should be that. But you know, everybody sees a male and a female, and they want to say sex. Not everything is sexual. It ain't. But it's 2019, everything, is, you know, sex sells, all that sells. You know, people want to do all that, but, you know, this is platonic. 11-some years. Okay, let me, you know? let me ask you this. You know, I'm going to say this right here, I'm going to cut you up. I'm going to say this right here, but just leave it like this. They say a man's best friend is a dog. The dog's a lawyer. Right. No matter what, I don't care what's going on. The man could be wrong, anything. That dog is gonna stay loyal. You know, the dog and the man ain't fucking. At least I hope not. But I'm just saying. <laughs> but I'm just saying, is is loyalty? The dog is loyal to the master. The master is loyal to the dog. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the dog don't realize if the if the man is filthy rich. If he broke, if he is, if he ain't, he just loyal. So yeah, and it's my law partner right here, Curve Duck. So let me ask you a question, like, me and best friends, um, getting into a relationship must be hard. What you mean? I mean, because a lot of females and men won't understand the relationship y'all have. It ain't for everybody to understand, I'm just be honest. If a male or, or a female is going to trip off another man or a female, then how are you going to even establish anything, period? Well, you know how people feel, like, no, you if, you feel some, if you feel some, react on that. Somebody's yeah. going to let you know what it is. Hey, no, he's cool. Or the girl's not going to say nothing. And you continue to do you. Do hey. you. Move how you move. Be That's you. Real. Hey, and I'm going to put it simple like this. And I, I ain't going to sugarcoat. I ain't going to do nothing. This is my pop. 
if I meet a female or something, if she can't accept my partner, then it ain't nothing to talk about. It's just that simple. I'm not finna kick her to the side or stop messing with her and stop vibe with my best friend just cause somebody don't like it. So if I kick her to the side just cause she don't like it, so what's gonna happen when she get tired of me or it don't work out? So now you gone and I done kicked her, my best friend Kirby to the side cause of you, now she gone and I what? Now don't get me wrong, if I get that significant other, yeah. then we might not be in the jam as hard as we did. And we but, understand that, of course. Who wouldn't? Right, if he gets a woman, I'm not good at What would I try to get in between them for? That's his woman. That's his gal. That's his bitch. That's whatever right. you want to call her. That's that's his. Right. If he feels strongly about it, that's what the situation is, and that's what it is. I respect that. That's what a partner does. And he would do the same vice versa. Exactly. But until then, hey, let me do what you do. Right. You feel this man. If you want to talk to him, hey, but you know, people see a male and a female, like I said, and think yeah. we're together and all that. Hey, nothing's ever stopped. Nothing's never stopped nobody else from doing nothing before. So it's just I mean, that simple. you know, it is what it is. That's how I look at it. I ain't gonna lie to you.